Well, folks, here we bloody go. It all comes down to this one game to change it all. And can the likes of Roma and Atalanta turn things around and get themselves through to a major European final? We're going to find out. And we're going to find out next. <laughs> Approach of you today is the semi finals of the Europa League. Goodness gracious me, and we're going to get our predictions for those semi finals second legs right here, right now, to see who will go through to the tasty final. Of course, this campaign will it be Roma, will it be Leverkusen, Marseille, or Atalanta? Of course, two of those four will be in the final, but of course, put your money where your mouth is. We'll get into it all of it in a second. Of course, big, big shout out once again to the VIPs, they are the patrons you know who are. And again, if you're new, smash the old subscribe, boys and girls. Your one stop shop for the Europa League is right here under one. Ruski. Currently, it is advantage Leverkusen. It is advantage Atalanta heading into this. But, of course, it could all change in what will be a dramatic second legs. And, of course, that will all be come to a conclusion on Tuesday, 9th of May. Let's recap those results then, starting with Roma against Leverkusen. I went with a 1-1 draw. Uh, it was actually a 2-0 away win for Leverkusen, who just continued to just win. And we'll have a break down the numbers for them in a second. In the second leg, uh, final, final whistle was a 1-1 draw between Marseille and Atalanta. I went with a home win on that one. I did play my booster, uh, but realistically, I did pretty shitty in the grand scheme of things. Of course, uh, talking about grand scheme of things, here are those results. Of course, in the prediction league, look at Nico ZT, 15 points, massive haul for him. Uh, and then I'm all the way down here. Of course, not great, not great indeed, but the, the, the race was lost a long time ago. Nico ZT, 505, a good 20 points clear of a motto. Looks destined to become champion uh, over in the Europa League. But it could all change. It could still all change. As you can see, he picked up 12 points. There, uh, of course, can um, can they make up the numbers in the next couple of round of games? Of course, we are going to take a look at those second legs right here, right now. I'm going to start with Leverkusen hosting Roma. That's right. Of course, Leverkusen just continue to do what they've been doing all season and not lose bloody football games. Um, of course, uh, coming at you at the Bay Arena uh, on the 9th of May, which will be this Thursday. These two sides now play each other eight times in 2004. Two wins for Leverkusen, two wins for Roma, four draws, of course. Leverkusen, of course, uh, Tuna win their biggest, scoring 14 goals in those eight games, 1.75 goals a game. Roma rocking a 1 0 win, scoring 12 goals in those eight games, 1.50 goals a game heading into this one. Of course, Leverkusen, 75% form for them over the last six. Of course, uh, what we're looking at here, uh, uh, they haven't lost. In fact, in the last 51 games, of course, back-to-back -back wins into this one. Roma, though, without a win in four, of course, hit a rough bit, rough patch both domestically and in the European competitions. But of course, they're coming to this uh, with a bit of hope and a bit of belief because last time, well, last time they played each other in Germany, though, this two, this match ended up as a nil-nil draw. The reverse fixture, of course, this first leg was a two-nil win for Leverkusen. In fact, though, Roma have only lost once in the last six against Leverkusen, and that was the most recent game. There's been some thrillers in the past, boasting an eight-goal. Thriller, of course, 4-4 way back in October 2015. Uh, so uh, we'll see if we can get something along those lines. Leverkusen on the back of a 5-1 win. Demolition job off Frankfurt this past weekend over in the Bundesliga with Roma rocking a respectable 1-1 uh, draw against Juventus. In fact, you know, the last three matches before them have been pretty difficult. In fact, the last four, you can even throw Bologna in there. There ain't no, there, there ain't no easy teams, this team, uh, in City Hour at the moment. Uh, quickly, got the odds for this game only. Remember that, this game only. It's 20-11 on Isje by Leverkusen. They are red-hot favourites of course, when they're, of course, coming back to German soil. 16-5 to five is the draw. 5-1 to one is your Roma. Realistically, it's only one side in this one. I'm going to go with a 2-0 win. Quick look at the odds, though, for the overall... Uh, the Leverkusen are 9-4 on to lift the trophy. And you've got Roma 33-1. to one, Massive underdogs uh, for this one. The next game, though, is much, much uh, closer. And that's what we look forward to. We look forward to the, the tighter games. It's coming out to the Guay Stadium over in Italy. Advantage Atalanta, you would say. They come into this on 67% form are Atalanta. Uh, unbeaten in the last four matches. Just one defeat in the last six. I think it's the Marseille side. 58% form for them right now. Also unbeaten in the last uh, five. Um, just one defeat in the last six as well. However, Marseille, just the draw specialist, picking up three draws over the last four matches. Uh, of course, the reverse fixture was a one-more draw in Marseille. And in fact, this was Marseille's last match, of course, uh... Uh, of course, and it, in fact, it was Atalanta's last match. Both sides' last competitive game was this one. I believe, believe it or not. Uh, so uh, take from that from what you will. 
A quick look at the odds for this game. Then it's 4-3 on. Atalanta. They are favoured to win this game. 14-5, of course, is the draw. 15-4 is your Marseille for the victory on this one. The odds to lift the trophy at the end. Atalanta are second favourites. 3-1. Marseille are uh, com uh, comfortably uh, further out at 10-1 at that moment. So it's very much in favour of Atalanta, according to the bookies on this as well. Uh, difficult one to call. Uh, uh, of course, Atalanta are getting a lot of plaudits recently for the style of play. Their coach has done a fantastic job. I think the Champions League, this could be their only path in the Champions League. I, I think they're a little bit out of it at the moment with the likes of Roma uh, in their way. But uh, I think they will win this one. I think they will put a 2-0 win uh, for them as well over Marseille. And I'm even... I'm actually going to put the booster on the Labour Cruiser one. I think that's, that's, that's a dead cert at this stand. So with those results in mind, it would be a Labour Cruiser 4-0 aggregate win. It will be an Atalanta 3-1 aggregate win over Marseille. And those two sides will lock horns uh, in the final. Is it in Dublin? I don't know. I don't even know. Whenever that may be, of course. But that is my picks, guys. It is a short, sharp video. Uh, of course, the next video will be, of course, the final as we look forward to that. But until then, subscribe, smash your like. Catch me later for the next one. But until then, keep on predicting. And of course, we'll be back very, very soon.